This tutorial will show parents and students how to take the wellness screener through Skyward. This information, as well as other options to screen your students, will be available below this video. Please note that all students have this option remote or in-person. Only in-person students need to be screened before attending school. To access Skyward, go to skyward.gcst9.net or you can download the Skyward app from your app store and follow the directions to connect to the Granite City School District. I will walk you through the website followed by instructions from your mobile device. Type in your user ID and password and choose sign in. If you do not have your Skyward information or forgot your password, please contact the Student Services Department at 451-5800, extension 2021. Once logged in, your students will be listed at the top. Please remember, you will have to complete this process for each student. To switch between students, select the drop-down arrow and select the student you are to be screening. It will default to the screening page. Please read through the questions and answer accordingly. Once complete, select Save. If both answers were no, you will receive a green notification as well as a message stating you are well enough for school today. If you have chosen one or more questions yes, you will receive a red notification followed by a message to stay home and contact your school's office to report your illness or close contact. For mobile users, once your app is open, scroll down to see wellness screenings and select today's screening. The same questions apply to both mobile and website users. By selecting both no, you will receive a green notification as well as a message stating you are well enough for school today. And by selecting one or more questions yes, you will receive a red notification followed by a message to stay home and contact your school's office to report your illness or close contact. Remember that each student must be screened. To change students on a mobile device, look over to the right where the three parallel bars appear and select. A drop-down will appear next to the student's name and choose the student you're needing to screen next. Repeat the process for screening until all students that will be attending school are properly screened. That is the end of our tutorial and thank you for your time. Stay safe.